Yo, what's good YouTube man? Welcome back to the Donnie D1 channel. We have been gone for a little minute, but now we are officially back. We have a rebuild for you guys today. We're going to be doing an Atlanta Falcons rebuild. This is going to be pretty uh, pretty dope. The brand new scouting system has officially dropped in Madden 22 franchise. So I'm super excited to go ahead and get a chance to use that. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so that way you never miss lit content like this. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my main channel make sure you guys go do that down the plays that is the channel that i go ahead and play madness 22 ultimate team on so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out so let's go ahead, let's get straight into it man we are going to hire and sign some scouts like i said i haven't done this just yet so i don't really know how this works all right all right so scouts are gathering info so we have some uh that we're gonna have gathering some info uh, of course this is a falcon so i want to make sure that i you know i'm, I'm gonna try to assign people to, to where they need to be all right you know what i'm saying i really want to to come back and get somebody who's really good so the falcons definitely do need a good running back so i think what we're gonna do i can't do a region breakdown yet okay so we'll wait we'll wait for what we got going so we'll wait probably till like the regular season to start scouting and we'll take a look at what we got so let's take a look at our roster because like i said this roster is not the best um, so we got some things that we got to work on and we're gonna try to fix it now uh, so starting on man, we have Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan QB. He's an 82, not bad. I mean, now we have Kyle Pitts, uh, Calvin Ridley, who will be pretty good. Looks like this is, is his name Russell Gage. I'm not 100 sure. Mike Davis. He's a decent running back. Okay, we'll take it. Cordero Patterson, who had a crazy game a couple weeks ago. Uh, Grady Jarrett. So yeah, I mean, the team is very mid, very, very, very mid team. Nothing too spectacular about this team. This team needs a lot of work. We have a lot of work that we need to go ahead and put in with this team. So we're going to try to do the best that we can, uh, put this team together the best way that we know how, and uh, just do what we can, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, I think I'm going to send out a scout at least to one area, hopefully, uh, to try to find me a good running back. So if I can find a decent running back, I'll be quite happy. Let's go, I guess, northeast, and yeah, let's see if he can, like, find me something. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, but let's see if we can get a good running back or something like that, and uh, let's go ahead, let's advance this first week. I don't think I'm going to be spending any staff points this time around. I don't know if I really want to do that or not, because uh, low-key, I mean, that, that makes the rebuilds kind of interesting, but it's kind of, like, finessing, too, at the same time. Not really, but you guys get the point. Um, so we'll see how we how I feel about that. Uh, Cause low key it do be helping you, it do be benefiting you. So you never know. You know I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. Um, all right, so let's see. So we do need a lot of we need a lot of positions, honestly. Um, I think we really should start working on the defense. Now I want to see what type of draft picks they have, but I think we need to trade for the future. You know what I'm saying? Or like try to draft somebody, you know, ahead of time or trade for somebody. Um, I just don't know who to trade for. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know who to trade for. Yeah, so this is gonna be pretty tough. I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100 sure who I'm gonna go ahead and trade for. Um, this is gonna be pretty tough. So a top 10 prospects looks like it's gonna be a D tackle. He's projected to go number one. A left outside linebacker, Danny Stockton. Uh, we got a QB. Okay, Eddie Ramirez. We might have to scout him, check him out because we could use him. Uh. Dion Birmingham, Zach Holm, Holcomb, Jose Clemens left in. All right, so we really want to check out Eddie Ramirez. We want to make sure that Eddie Ramirez is going to be, you know, that guy. We want to make sure he's going to be that guy. So we're going to have to wait and see. Okay, so Northeast region, I think that's where we sent Kyle Duncan anyway, so he's going to be pretty good at that. So hopefully he finds somebody who's pretty good. We don't have anybody who's like a... Uh, a QB type person, which kind of sucks. So we're gonna have to send somebody somewhere. Let me see, where could I send somebody? Okay, so Southeast, I could send Matthew Hudson to try to get him to scout Eddie Ramirez. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna send Matthew Hudson to try to get him to scout Eddie Ramirez. Um, and yeah. yeah, let's send him Southeast. Okay, so it looks like it's all set. So hopefully we can get some good news on those uh, players, and we'll see what happens with that. Let's go. Let's get into our first game of the season. We are playing the Eagles, so their top player is going to be Fletcher Cox. This is going to be quite interesting, uh, as our O line is not the best O line, but it's not terrible, you know. So we have a lot of work to do, um, and so I think we're just going to go ahead. We're going to try to, you know, get to work the best we can. 
Why do I keep clicking the wrong buttons? I really don't know. Alright, so yeah, let's advance our first week. Let's see how this team looks. Because this team could look decent or it could look pretty bad. I'm not even sure how this team is going to really look for us, though. Uh, as this is going to be quite interesting. Okay, so we take an L first week. We take an L, but it's not a, not a big L. Not a big L at all, actually. So we'll, we'll take what we can get out of that one. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. I think I, think I do want to make a trade already off the bat. Um, and I think my trade is definitely going to be somebody defensively. So let's take a look at our defense one more time. Um, that's the wrong thing. Manage roster. There we go. Haven't played franchising forever, boys. This is kind of bad. But, um, oh, yeah. Everybody's regressing. So raise morale by winning games. Bro, we lost one game. Why are we losing morale? Sheesh. All right. Yeah. So I think we're going to go ahead. Should we trade for a free safety? I feel like trading for a free safety is probably the best thing to do right now. Yeah, so we'll, we'll trade for a free safety. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get something going right there if we trade for free safety. I'm trying to think. Who's a really good free safety that we can kind of trade for? Um, I feel like Justin Simmons would be pretty dope to trade for. Probably kind of hard to pull that off, but I definitely do think it is possible. Eddie Jackson is not too bad. Jesse Bates. Jesse Bates is just too high of an overall, I think. If we're looking for somebody who like we can really pull off a good trade for, Andrew on Winfield. He does have star development. He's probably not valued super high either. So we could allow him to come to the squad, develop, build himself up, and play like a beast for us, like an absolute dog. So let's try to get a second round pick in. And that's good. That's a good trade. That that's that's an excellent trade. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, we finessed. We just finessed the Buccaneers. I don't know how we did it, but we finessed the Buccaneers. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm so down for that one. That was an excellent trade. I do want to look for a strong safety low key. I want to make sure my secondary is kind of good, but uh, I don't want to push it too much. So we're gonna see. Um, I don't know who would be like an excellent one. I guess the Giant safety. It. Um, Real Peppers is decent. We could trade for Marcus May and try to get him for like a second rounder just because he's a little up in age. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure how that's kind of going to work for us. I do want to say that, you know, that might backfire in our face. Chauncey Gardner Johnson. I mean, they aren't starting him. So if they're not starting him and they still have Malcolm Jenkins, does this mean that we might be able to pull this off? I think so. I think we might. Mm, let's see. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. We'll try it. We'll try it probably in like a week or two. See, we'll see how this trade that we just made plays out. And then in a week or two, we'll see what's going to be the case. Okay, I mean, he's not. Never seen a window. He won't throw into a beautiful pass. Knows when to throw the ball away. We'll break the pocket. Fast throwing motion. Okay, that's definitely not bad. That's what, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to hear. Looks like he's pretty decent. Looks like, look, he's decent. Looks like he's pretty decent. They're talking pretty good about him. You know what I'm saying? They're talking pretty nice about him. All right, let's see. We do have a running back that we want to look at uh, in our southeast region, I want to say. Uh, I think there was a good running back that we want to take a look at. Not sure if he's in the top five or top ten, rather. Doesn't look like. It looks like he's pretty far down the list, actually. So, that kind of sucks. But let's see what the running backs look like. Third or fourth round. Hmm. Ah, that's kind of upsetting. That's that's a little upsetting. That's a little upsetting. Doesn't look like there's any. There's gonna be any like really, 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 really good um running backs in this draft. So that kind of sucks. Uh, Cause that's really one of the biggest things that we kind of need right now. We need a good running back, honestly. Uh, let's see. Trying to think what else we're going to see here. I mean, out of the Southeast region. I mean, that's just the Southeast, though. All regions. Let's see. All regions. How are our running backs looking for all regions, though? Pat Miles. Let's see him. Who's this? Text of football versus any contact suffers from concentration drops. Fights for every single inch. Avoids big hits. Wants to take every catch to the house. I mean, that's pretty good. No, he looks pretty nice, though. He looks like he has some pretty nice stats, though. Okay. I'm quite hyped. It looks like we got some really, really, really good players. That we can go ahead and we can kind of like you know focus on so hopefully we'll find out more about these players as we continue to go along throughout the weeks uh let's go let's advance to our next week so we are playing the buccaneers we did just trade for antron winfield jr hopefully it'll make an impact and how about the squad let's see what's gonna happen here
Just give me, just give me, you know, just help the squad just a little bit. Okay, we lose a closer, you know, we lose one, we lose a game, but it was a close one. It was a little bit closer than, you know, what it normally is. I think I am ready to make a big trade for a running back, though. Um, if I can't, I feel like I'm going to draft, I want to draft a, a QB. I think I'm going to draft a QB. So, if I draft a QB, I think I'm going to have to make a big trade for a running back. Um, and I'm going to draft a QB because Matt Ryan should pretty much almost be done that contract. And if he's not, he can kick rocks. Okay? All right. Because um, I'm, I'm packing him up. You're not coming back to my squad. Is Matt Ryan's contract almost done? I think he has like one or two more years. I don't know. Um, we're going to bring in that brand new, you know, we're going to try to bring in uh, a new QB. And he's just going to run the show from there on out. That's pretty much how it's going to go. Because uh, my players are losing morale because they're losing. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really like them to lose that because they're losing. Or, you know, deduct it from their overall because they're losing. Um, so, like I said, what I'm going to do right now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to try to trade for a running back. I feel like a running back would definitely change a lot of things. Help us establish a good run game as well. Um, you know, a good run game is, is key, honestly. I feel like that's going to be the key to our success right now. So, if we can establish a good run game, I feel like we're going to be a little bit unstoppable. No cap. So, we could go Kareem Hunt. I feel like... Mm, I don't know if the, I don't know if they would let us do that. I feel like Kareem Hunt might be a little bit of a big risk for that one. Uh, low key. Ronald Jones Jr. Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler is a beast. He's a beast, and he's a good receiving back. Austin Eckler is going to be the person I'm going to trade for. We're going to give up next year's first round pick. We're not going to give up this year's first round pick because, like I said, we are aiming for a QB right now in this draft. So, should we give up our second for this year? Or let's go. Let's try to see if we can affect all oh, next year. How does that look? Excellent. All right. So we got a running back. We have Mr. Eckler. He should take over. He should dominate. Hopefully, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna dominate. I think he's gonna take over this game. Honestly, um, you know, he should just destroy everybody in the league. Honestly, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like he's gonna destroy everybody in the league. So I am gonna trade Mike Davis. I'm gonna try to get a pick back for him. Probably gonna try to get a second round pick for him really quickly. Uh, it just makes sense, you know. Try to get a nice little second round pick for him. Uh, as that just seems to be the smartest move, the best move in the situation that we can go ahead and aim for. Uh, so if I can do that, that'd be dope. So let's see. We have Cordero Patterson, though he's kind of old. I mean, they're both old, essentially. So, okay, the Bengals have some decent, have some moderate interest. So we have some moderate interest from some teams in Mike Davis. Um, not sure what I can kind of turn this interest into because it doesn't look like anybody's like you know like super interested. But everybody's like, mm. he's decent. So. Let's try to trade into the Saints. And we just really want a second round pick. Though. That's really what we want. We don't want anything too crazy. Mm, okay, all right. We'll, 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 we'll set it for a third. We'll set it for a third. Let's just try to pack him up, though. Bang. All right, there we go. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we got rid of him. Big time move right there. Let's continue to advance through this week. Let's see. Can Austin Eckler start helping us out? We do have to play Saquon this week. It's going to be a pretty tough game for us. Let's try it. When we bring home a huge W, 45 to 20, we have a player of the week too. And that goes to Mr. Matty Ice, baby. Three passing touchdowns and one rushing TD. Okay. All right. Talk to me nice then. Talk to me nice, talk to me nice then. It said you're trying to give up on me a little too early. My bad. Talk to me nice then. That's what I like to see, Matty. That's what I like to see, Mr. Matty Ice. Yes, sir. Voice of Loikin. Let's try to get his deal out the way now while he doesn't want anything, like, you know, outrageous. Because I feel like if he wants something outrageous, I'm not going to give it to him and I'm going to really be upset. Um, Hayden Hurst is actually a really, really good tight end, low key. 87 speed, 86 catching, I think would definitely help us out. We do have Kyle Pitts, though. Hmm. This is kind of tough. I'm going to give him a two year deal. I'm going to give him a two year deal. I'm going to try to allow him to get back on the market. Because I do not want to hold him long term just because if Kyle Pitts develops, it's going to be no need to hold this dude at all. You guys get what I'm saying? So if Pitts develops, the, the need to hold this dude is going to be it's going to be worthless, you know, so.
it is what it is we're gonna have to see what's gonna go down uh, let's take a look at one of these mock drafts man so mock draft in the mock draft we take jose clemens i really don't like that we need to try to trade up i think if we can do our best to trade up you know try to get eddie ramirez that'll be our key so we got to find out who has eddie ramirez first then we're gonna have to try to trade up and for that your boy already knows he has to finesse i already, I already know i gotta finesse i already know i gotta be the finesse you know what i'm saying baby you can't finesse a finesse baby yes sir so now we gotta we gotta start trading We just want to increase for draft picks. There we go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. That's going to be perfect. That's going to be a good thing to help us out on the draft. I think it'll definitely help us out big time. So we should be A-OK -okay with that. No problems right there. Let's go ahead and upgrade some players. Austin Eckler did get an upgrade this week. I'm super excited to have him added to the squad, actually. I think he's going to start playing pretty well. We do need some cornerbacks, so it'll be interesting to see what we can kind of do with that cornerback situation during free agency. Is That's where I want to kind of aim to you know, fix that thing. And we are kind of getting on a roll, getting into a groove now ever since we went ahead and we traded for Mr. Eckler himself. Uh, really hesitant about giving him this, this a deal of, I guess... Offer his poor across the board. He really wants that long-term deal. I just don't think I'm going to give it to him. Cordero Patterson, I'm really hesitant to give him a deal, but I think I'm still going to do it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do this there. Boom. Let's give Cordero his deal. Uh, two years, three mil. All right, we can, we can do that. Yeah, two years, three mil. I feel like that's going to be pretty nice. So let's go ahead. Let's do that. Um... Yeah, we'll call it two years, three mil, no problem. All right, and that's it. So let's go ahead. Let's advance another week. We're playing against the Jets. This should be an easy W. Our team is kind of getting together, um, and it is another easy W. That's what I want to see. All right, so now we're three and two. We're actually moving our way up the ladder right now as we speak. So we're kind of dominating, which is really, really, really good. And I'm super excited about this. I'm not sure if I'm going to resign any of these players just yet. So I'm going to kind of let them sit and kind of figure it out as we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to sim to mid-season. And then I will see what our squad is looking like then. All right, boys, here we are. So we are currently 3-3 three and three right now. Uh, there's another mock draft that officially drops. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see where we fall in this mock draft. So in this mock draft, we fell big time. Our pick... So now we end up taking a receiver. That's not okay. So it's because we started winning. Like I said, I'm not sure how many more years Matty Ice has in his contract, but I would definitely like to trade up if I can. Uh, I feel like that's going to be crucial to our success here. So I'm not sure. I'm not going to... Hmm, Mr. Hurst, Mr. Hurst, Mr. Hurst. Should I give him another deal? Russell Gage, I'm going to give him another deal, of course. He's just pretty young. Uh, should be a nice thing to keep on the squad. So let's go ahead. Let's give him his deal. Boom. There we go. Wayne Gowman. We'll, we'll, we'll hold on to Wayne. We definitely are going to need to. Uh, actually, no. We resigned Cordero. Uh, it's not. It's nothing. Nothing wrong with having lots of running backs, though. Everything else is stopped from the salary is great. The salary is what you requested, buddy. Don't don't give me that bull crap. I don't like that. Um, we're not gonna resign you. I think I'm gonna. Mm, I don't want to pass my hairs. I really don't. I really don't. Let's just give him the deal that he's looking for here. Bang! There you go. So we did all this work, and then he's not interested. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I did. I did just work hard just to try to get him put on the squad, and then you know he does want to do it. So great. Anyways. All right. So let's continue. Let's try to keep pushing. We did just lose to the Dolphins, but. Our team is still looking pretty good. So we're going to take a look at our squad after this week. We're going to see how we're looking, kind of see the overall of the squad, how things are going. So right now, we are 3-4. and four. Uh, So we just took it out to the Panthers. We're really, really, really close out. I do want to add another receiver to go ahead and compliment Calvin Ridley. Um, I'm just not sure who just as of yet. Uh, I don't know if the little like slot glitch thing still works, but I'm, what I'm about to do is I'm going to put Russell Gage Jr., in the slot and hope that he becomes what we need for him to develop and become a star so we're gonna do that we're gonna try to tank uh kyle pitts as a superstar x factor which is pretty nice 
Uh, so we'll definitely have a big, nice threat right there. Eckler's in 86. So we got to get Eckler some Ws. Uh, defensively, Antoine Winfield up to 85 right now. That's what I want to see. Things are going well. Things are going well, boys. Things are going well. So not much that I can say. Uh, not much that I need to say at all. Um, as long as things are going well, we really have no issues. I'm going to be 100% honest. I just want to see things go well. And as long as the squad starts playing well and we start getting together, we have no issues. We lose another game. This one, not as close to the other ones. But still, heartbreaker. Lose by touchdown. So it's like we're missing just one key piece. And it may just be that our defense needs to get upgraded a little bit more. And I feel like it definitely does. So... I'm going to try to do my best that I can to upgrade this defense over the period of these next two seasons, the two other seasons that we're going to do. Um, hopefully, we can get somewhere. If not, that kind of sucks, but I think we will be able to get somewhere, though. Yeah, let's, let's try to get a discount going. You know, I'm, trying, I'm not trying to pay for all these players no more. Got to get the little discount in. You know, discount in. Yes, sir. All right, let's see what we can get going on. This is definitely going to be crucial. Not answering any media questions. Don't really care. I don't think we're pulling out of this W against the Cowboys. I'm gonna just be honest. But we pull out a W against the Cowboys. Weekly awards. Let's see who got it. Matt Ryan once again, 417 passing yards, four touchdowns, and one rushing touchdown. Why is it whenever we play some crazy team, Matt Ryan just comes out and gets out of just just goes in a duffel. He goes in a duffel and he goes crazy. He just goes crazy. Just goes absolutely ballistic. All right, so we want to focus on him. I want to focus on the cornerback. Let's focus on the left end. And give me another receiver. Okay, well, those, those are going to be the ones that we focus on. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Okay, so we have our players that we're already focusing on. Bro, this update looks so clean right now. I'm super, super, super happy about it. Uh, we have a lot of players that we can resign, but I think I'm going to pass on most of them. Um, and just let some practice squad players move up and get a chance to come into the league. Because, you know, that's called being kind and, you know, that's being nice. So, that's probably what we'll do. Let's go with this advance this next week. We are 4-5. and five. We play the 3-7 and seven Patriots. Can we go ahead and walk out of here with a W? And we do not. We lose another game. I don't know how we keep losing these games. And then we get a weekly award, which is kind of weird. Uh, and our weekly award, Deion Jones at 16 tackles. So that's pretty nice. We do have Deion Jones. So he's definitely somebody we could kind of use as an asset to build around in defense. So hopefully we get a chance to really like go crazy and build around him. I think we will have the opportunity. Um, yeah, so if we can get the opportunity to build around him, I think we will. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to send to playoff time because I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. So... Uh, we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to sim to playoff time. We're going to scout some players. Free agency is coming up, so we're going to try to make some moves there. Let's go. Let's get straight to it. All right, boys. So let's take a look at the playoff picture currently, how things are looking. Of course, we did not make the playoffs at all, um, as expected. But let's take a look. It's just show us like our current cast space and things like that. So our current cast space is negative 14.4 million. That's not too good. Um, so we're kind of down bad. Looks like free agency won't be too much fun. Um, so... It is what it is. We made the moves that we had to make for, I feel like, this season, you know, just to try to put us in a decent spot. We finished 6 and 11, so we did win a couple more games, but we did not have an excellent season at all. Uh, offensive points per game, we finished number seven. Offensive pass yards per game, we finished number four. Our rushing yards were number 27. Defensively, points per game, number 27. Defensive pass yards per game, number 25. We lined up 264. And rushing yards, we were kind of pretty decent 106 rushing yards per game. So we do know that we need to upgrade, you know, Probably that O-line so that way we can have, you know, a little bit of a better, uh, I would say, I would say a little bit of a better run attack. Um, and then defensively, we need cornerbacks. That secondary looks pretty trash. I'm not going to lie to you. So we're going to have to put in some work there and, and try to see what we can get going. Uh, we did trade away our first and second round pick to get Austin Eckler this year. So that's a lot to trade. And you guys might be like, yo, that was, you, you, you overvalued him. Uh, but it's just because I felt like, you know, we can get a lot of, there's a lot of good value in Austin Eckler, I feel like, kind of. So I feel like things could have happened either way, where we, you know, go crazy with Austin Eckler, or we just wait and see what happens. Um, and I, I think, 
just trusting Eckler and that's going to be the, the main focal point. And now we just have to take the steps to build around him. And so I think that's what we're going to try to do. I definitely want to try to build around him. And I, I want to see what's going to happen. So Mach 3, where is our draft pick Follow Mach 3? We're probably a little bit further down. So on Mach 3, it looks like we end up actually getting Dion Birmingham. Uh, so we do not get Eddie Ramirez. It looks like he kind of fell a little bit in the draft rankings as well. Um, his direct is short as a B. So he since people scouted him. Um, it looks pretty solid. Uh, it looks like we're seeing some decent things from him. So we'll see. We may draft him uh, still. We don't want him to fall too low in the draft. But we don't want to wait to draft pick on him either. So just have to wait and see how things are going to kind of play out. I don't think I'm going to drop back for him either. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if he's projected to go a little bit later, I don't think I'm going to, like, you know, trade back, you know, see what happens. But, do we have a cornerback? Oh, yeah. Let's try to, let's try to negotiate him. Oh, never mind. You're, you're injured. Why are you injured? Dude, come on. Fracture kneecap out for 12 weeks? Like, dude, you're going to miss, a, like, at least the first few games of the season. I, I don't have time for that, dude. I don't, I don't have time for that. So let's see the combine results. Did he move up at all? Who knows? So the cornerback we were looking at, who actually fits our scheme, actually. So I would not be upset to go ahead and pick him up either. Uh, his man coverage is a C. His catching is a B. Uh, it looks like his combine stats were actually pretty good. Okay, yeah. Four, he runs a 4-4. Okay. All right, so that's not too bad. Skills. Hit power is an A. Ooh, so his tackling should be up there, too. Uh, play rec is a C. Looks like he's going to be a pretty good corner nonetheless. Super excited for him. Uh, let's take a look. Eddie Ramirez, like I said, definitely did drop. Um, but he... All right, boys, we're back. So here we go. Back to Mr. Eddie Ramirez, who has fell a little bit in the draft rankings, the draft pick rankings and all that. So let's see kind of how we're looking right now with him. Um, he runs a 4-8. Okay, I mean, he doesn't seem to be the fastest QB, but we might be able to do a little something, something. Maybe a little something, something. So, we have to keep an eye on him. Uh, him and that quarterback, because those are kind of the two players that we're really aiming for. We really want to learn a little bit more about um, and hope that things go well. So, we have $6.61 million in cash space. Uh, not a lot of money, but it is, you know, the opportunity to try to make something happen. Devontae Adams would be dope to try to get him here, but we already know that that's not going to happen. We just don't have the money for that. Uh, <laughs> that cast space is a little tight right now. So trying to get him here is pretty much a no-go, no-fly zone. Uh, Kyle Fuller. Yeah, that's a big cap hit. Never mind. All right, we'll, we'll pass him Kyle Fuller. I'm trying to see... He would want a big contract, though. We could pick up Brian Poole. Let him play for a year. See how it works out. Let's pick him up. Let's let him play for a year. We're going to give him a shot. We're going to give him a year. We do get a corner, which is something that we really desperately needed. And at the same time, we kind of, you know, try to fix that other side of that you know the, the defense right now that we're kind of dealing with uh because we did let one of our corners go uh so should be quite interesting he did accept our contract so that's pretty good uh so let's see the college day pro results let's see does he move up at all zach home move zach holcomb moved up a little bit which is the dude that we're looking at of course we're looking at that left guard too uh, so it looks like things are going pretty well. College Pro Day, he got a 4.3. Looks like he got a little bit faster. Okay, so not too bad. Uh, still has some pretty decent things going on with him. Let's take a look at that left guard as well because that was one thing that we were looking for. We're looking for linemen to hopefully be able to build that offensive line around. Uh, we don't really need a left tackle. Left guard is definitely something we need a little bit more. Typically avoids getting flagged. Motors always running hot. Nice. Pass blocking. Looks like it's a C. Yeah, pass blocking C. Lead blocking A. Run block power B. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Super excited about that. Um, so we'll have to keep looking. Have to keep searching. See what's gonna go down. I think we're gonna get, you know, some pretty nice things though. Honestly. I think I think it's gonna end up turning out pretty well for us at the end of the day. 
I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna add some more franchise point or franchise points. Yeah, that's what they're staff points. We're gonna add some more staff points to our head coach or our player personnel, whatever it's called. Yeah, we're gonna add some more to him. Uh, we're gonna try to see if we can finesse and get him put up there just a little bit more. You know, try to see if we can allow ourselves some benefits during the drafts. You know, and, and trades in general because uh, these are gonna be big time things. So let's go ahead. Let's advance to the next week uh as we get more information about our college player of course eddie ramirez is the player that we're looking at he did kind of fall in a draft right now private workouts let's see what we got going on those are the ones i want yes i need them to complete a follow i need them to complete a workout for sure 100 percent eddie ramirez Eddie Ramirez is the first person I want to complete that workout. Because Eddie Ramirez, once again, that is the person that we're aiming for. Zach Holcomb would be a nice addition if we can go ahead and get him. So would our left guard. That left guard would be excellent. I don't think that left tackle is going to be there at all. So I'm not even going to think about going for him. Uh, but the left tackle, of course, we don't need because I believe we have. I forgot who our left guard is, but or our left tackle is. But we have somebody. So it is what it is. Um, so... We had him do a proper workout. Let's see. Mock drafts. What's going on here? Looks like Deion Birmingham is still projected to come to us. Not who I'm taking, though. Uh, where is my QB? Where, where did he fall? No, he didn't go up. He only went down. Okay, that's not good. That isn't good. I don't know where he's at. Eddie Ramirez fell all the way down. So now they're saying he could essentially be a second-round talent, which is not okay. Okay, so his awareness is an A. Breaking sacks is a C. Carrying is a C. Play action is a C. Deep accuracy is a B. Mid accuracy is an A. Short accuracy is a B too. We could work really well with this dude, though. We could really, really, really work really well with him. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this. They didn't give us news about the private workout and how that kind of went. Um, so I would like to know really how that went, but it is what it is. He did a private workout for us. I think it's going to turn out pretty well. I think we're going to have a pretty good game. Pretty good season. Let's go. Let's get straight into it. Start this draft. And uh, Eddie Ramirez, here we come, baby. He is going to be our pick. So we have the fifth pick of the draft. Um, skip ahead. Let's advance to our user pick. Though he's not supposed to be taken so high, he is the player that I'm going to take high. Um, so he's the person I need. Ooh, the left tackle still there though. Mm, the left guard, not left tackle. We're still gonna take Eddie. We gotta take Eddie. We need Eddie a lot more than we really think. He has hidden development. There we go. All right, so here we go. 77 speed, throw power is an 89. Yo, he's gonna be really good. Overall is, has a question mark next to it, so we're not sure what his overall is. But I think he's gonna be a really, really good pick. He's definitely going to help us out, especially down the road. So I'm super excited to go ahead and have him on the squad. And I think it's just going to be interesting to see what happens. If we were to trade away the pick, what would they give us? I think we got the thing where like, they have to give us trade packages. But the trade packages aren't really that good. Not as much of a finesse as I thought it was going to be. So let's go. Let's make a selection. Not sure what I'm going to pick up, but we'll try to see. I want to try to see if I can find another receiver. What are you looking like before I draft you? Mm, I think I'm going to pass on Kevin Richardson. Are we taking Jalen Briscoe here? I think this one take it here. Yeah, let's draft him. Okay. 91 acceleration and 94 speed. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. All right. There we go. Nice. Nice pickup. Nice pickup. All right. So we're going to send him to the end of the draft because um, I really didn't scout anybody, but I'll catch you guys at the beginning of the next season. All right, boys. Here we are. Let's go take a look at our squad. Um, we're going to manage the roster. We're going to see how our roster is looking. I'm super excited. I definitely do want to start. Brand new QB. Um, 
He is a 71 overall. Okay, so not too bad. Um, so it's going to be exciting to see what happens with him. Russell Gage is injured. Uh, we did end up losing Calvin Ridley towards the end of the season. Surprisingly, had no clue. Uh, but Russell Gage is out for five weeks. So hopefully we'll have him back you know, a little bit before the beginning of the season. But we'll have to wait and see how things play out for us. Um, I think the offseason will give him time to rest up, heal up, and he'll be back in the squad. So that'll be pretty dope. Uh, very, very excited uh, to see what this team has has in store. We do have that brand new rookie QB. Excited to see what he's going to do during preseason, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Excited to see his development, too. Matty Ice is starting to regress now, so we have a lot of work to do. Definitely have a lot of work to do. And uh, with that with that being the case, we're just going to do the work that we came. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do what we can. Try to do the work that we you know hope to do and uh, call it a day, honestly. So we're here doing the preseason. We're going to send to the regular season. I am going to take a look and see how he, you know, kind of plays and what kind of happened during the preseason. Because uh, I'm, I'm very, very, very excited because that is our future. Uh, we went ahead, we drafted him a little high. A little risky. A little risky of a, of a draft pick right there. But 100% um, believe that was worth it. 100% believe that was the best pick that we could add. So, it looks like we got some decent players coming in. So, not too bad. Took a look at some of the prospects. So, top five. Two QBs in the top five projected. Left guard. Da, da, da. Got these linemen. Yeah, we want to make sure that these linemen are favorited because they would definitely probably help us out a lot. So. Yeah, okay, so there we go. So we kind of got to figure out what's going to go down right now. So let's go ahead, let's upgrade our players. And then we play Seattle this week. So we have got a, got, a, got a pretty nice task ahead of us. Before we go ahead and we play Seattle, let's go ahead, let's manage our roster really quick. Let's take a look. Let's see. Did our rookie QB upgrade at all any? And if so, how much? He did not go up at all. But did it get a little closer? Okay. So he's getting closer. Uh, looks like Austin Eckler is injured. So he's out for six weeks, which is definitely going to hurt us a lot. We're down bad, boys. We're down bad. Mighty Ice is going to run the show for a couple of weeks, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start Eddie Briscoe. Um, and he's just going to take the show over from there, and we're going to see what he can do. Uh, but we have to worry about Jamal Adams this week. So let's see. And we take a big L. A big, big, big L. <laughs> That's not good at all. That is not good at all. Definitely not good. So let's take a look. We're trying to see what's kind of going on. CJ Campbell would be pretty nice, but of course not who I need. D tackle. Okay, he's gonna be pretty good. He's definitely gonna be pretty good. Yeah, 100 percent 100 percent gonna be that guy. Alright, so let's take a look. See what else we got going on here. Week two. We took a big blowout loss. I don't know if I'm going to start our rookie QB now or if I just want to wait one more. You know, just wait a couple more games and try to give Matty Ice the, the, the benefit of the doubt, so to speak. But I kind of want to unleash the rookie. I, I low-key want to unleash the rookie. Now, the thing that we have to worry about this season is that we don't have any first-round picks or a second-round pick at all. So, you know, we kind of got to take that into account and consideration. So... I don't really see myself making trades this season, but I do think we can make some pretty good deals, hopefully during free agency, so we'll have to wait and see how things play out. Really wants to get paid, and I can't even be upset. A man of his caliber who plays pretty well must get paid. Grady Jarrett is 29. I have no clue. Do we have any other big contracts to sign? I think depending on how Brian Poole plays depends on if he will get re-signed. going to be 100% honest. If he plays nice, he will get resigned. I will resign him, 100%. No cap. No rap. No, no, no rap in my cap. No cap in my rap. You know what I'm saying? He will get the resign, you know. So we're going to have to wait and see. I'm just super excited to have him on the squad. You know, hopefully help us out defensively. Give us another little edge boost to the squad. I don't know. All right, so we lose a really close one. We lose 9-2. to two. What in the world, dude? 
How do we lose 9-2? All right, I'm naming my starter. Our starter will be Eddie for this week. I'm super excited to go ahead and see him get some reps in. So let's do it. Let's do it, baby. I'm going to throw Eddie in here. Though I don't really feel like he's 100% ready for this yet. Eddie is going to start this season. Eddie's going to start. I'm going to try to trade off Matt, Matt Ryan um, if I can. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Eddie start the season. Matty Ice is going to get moved, if at all possible. Don't really think it's possible, but if it is possible, he will get that boot. 48 million in cap space. That is the cap hit he's going to make somebody endure. That is ridiculous. It is no way that I'm going to be able to put him on a squad, I don't think. Uh, just because that, that cap hit is just out of this world. 40 million? The Saints really want him, though, but it's just. That cap hit is just a little much. Maybe if I come back and I check in like the next few weeks, Trade 7 should be the. The, the or week 7 should be the trade deadline so if I check back in the next few weeks I have a clear picture on what I need to do we're going to start our rookie QB here versus the Detroit Lions we are 0-3, they're 0-3 and we walk out of there with a W with a W I don't know how we got up out of there I don't know how we won you know what I'm saying I don't know how we got about it there. Don't know how we won. If we won a game, hey, he clutched up, played well. That's all that matters. Super excited to go ahead and get him some playing time, though. Um, him just being that rookie QB, I think he just needed that opportunity, you know, just to try to change the the way things were going this season. Uh, Ryan Poole, I think I'm going to give him that extension. We just need that last. We need, we need another year at it. We need another year. So I'm not sure what the cornerback market is going to look like. If it's going to look good at all. <laughs> or if it's going to look trash. So we're going to give him another year. We're going to try to see what that cornerback, mar cornerback market is looking like. But hopefully the goal will be that we can, you know, hold on to him and add him and make him be a good piece, key uh, asset to the roster. So we'll see what's going on with that. Um, how are we looking here offensively? Eddie Ramirez. Matt Ryan is still regressing, uh, which is really, really, really not good for us. Um... <clears throat> Especially because we're trying to trade him. So I'm going to add him to the trade block first. We don't have a lot of time. But we got to add him to the trade block now. We're going to try to see if anybody's willing to concur that 40 million cap hit. Which is ridiculous. He should not be getting paid that much at all. Um, but I don't I don't think any team is going to push for that. We lose a close one here. Okay, 31 to 28. We lose to the Browns 31 to 28. And the Browns are a really, really good team. So if our rookie QB is keeping us in games like that without Austin Eckler being on the field, just imagine what's gonna happen when Mr. Eckler returns. So now we have to worry about DeAndre Hopkins. D Hop might go stupid on us. It's likely. And they go ahead, they win that game just barely. Weekly awards here. Who's getting our weekly awards? It is probably not our QB, but it is Dante Fowler Jr. He actually is looking for a contract extension, and that game might have just gave it to him. That might have just solidified his contract extension because we see proof that he can play really, really, really well. And uh, that's all I boy. That's that's all your boy needed to see. All right, that's all your boy needed to see. I needed to see proof that you can continue playing at a high level for these next two years. And that performance right there, that player of the week right there, just proved that you could do it. So there he goes. Boom. Now I don't know. I did not mean to click this. Shit. Okay, I don't know what the, I guess, cost for trying to release Matt Ryan will be. I don't know. Because 9 out of the 10, we try to release somebody, it does normally have a big negative cap hit towards you. So, not 100% sure. We're going to see. Matty Ice should be getting released, though. If I release him... Yeah, so the penalty I concur is 42.5 million in cap hit. It's ridiculous. Now, 
right, let's try to see if we can trade him. The Saints is really where he got his most interest from. If I can move him there, I will. If not, it is what it is. Um, that's where I'm going to try to move him. To the Saints, because they seem like the team that really wants him in a sense. So... They just, don't have the cap they just don't have the cast space for it, like to fight back, you know, to give this like a good. Yeah, and then they put us in negative for weed. That. <laughs> That's not good. All right, let's try to see if we can get something. Who's a team that won't be like, I guess, stupid low and stupid high in cast space, I guess is the best thing to say. Yeah, we can't send them there. But they have to be like moderately interested as well. Jacksonville. Did we get lock in Shaquille Griffin? Oh, he's only has a one mil effect. I thought he had it more than that. Okay, well that definitely was not gonna work. Um as the trade to the Jaguars is gonna fall through. Could we send him to the Jets and just make his career die? I mean, essentially, but I want something back in return, low key. Mm. The Saints is really the team that wants him. I'm not going to lie. The Saints really want him, and that's fine. I understand, you know, that you may not want to cooperate with us because this is a pretty bad situation we're kind of in right now but we do you know what here's what we're gonna do we're gonna hold on to Matty Ice we're gonna, yes, we're gonna hold him we're gonna hold him we're just gonna keep starting and when it's time I believe he has to resign either he needs to do for it to get resigned next year or something like that, so we're just not gonna resign him. We're just gonna let him be. We're gonna cut him. He's done. He's done. He's done for the year. He's done. He will not he will not play for the rest of the year. Matty Ice will not play for the rest of the year. I'm done. I've had enough. Yeah, he's not gonna play for the rest of the year. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, so we kind of have figured it out. He's not going to play for the rest of the year. I don't really want him to play for the rest of the year. I really want my rookie to kind of get the most experience he kind of can. Um, because he's going to be taking over the show, you know. I have a lot of faith in him. He has excellent stats as well. So I think he can definitely, you know, lead this team, put this team in a good direction, put us in a you know good situation. But right now, we just need some more pieces to help him out. And so that's what free agency is for. We're going to try to get those pieces built around him and, and go from there. So... We're gonna have to see what we can do. Um, not really anybody else crazy that we need to sign. Honestly, I think we got the bigger deals out of the way, uh, such as Calvin Ridley, you know, and our old lineman. So we kind of got those out of the way, and I think those were our biggest deal, Grady Jarrett. And once we got those deals out of the way, we were pretty much set, good, no problems. So it is what it is. Go, let's advance this one. We're gonna push it, and uh, I'll probably just go ahead and sim. Yeah, so we did catch a W finally, but let's go ahead, let's sim to the end or to the playoffs. Yeah, let's sim to the now. Let's go ahead, let's sim to the offseason. Let's sim to the offseason. We'll see how our QB looks. If our QB looks good, that'll be great. If not, we know that we still have some more things to do, but yeah, let's go ahead, let's sim to the offseason. Catch you guys there. All right, boys, so here we go. Let's take a look at our roster. Let's see how we're looking right now. Our offense is the 81, defense is 78. We're at a 78 overall, but how does our QB look? So our QB, Eddie Ramirez, has star development. So that's actually really, really good. Um, so he'll hopefully be doing pretty well. Kyle Pitts at a 92 right now. Calvin Ridley still at an 89, has not upgraded at all. Uh, but it is what it is. We still have a lot more work to go. Brian Poole has regressed on me, which kind of hurts. Kind of hurts, you know. Hurt the old man heart. Because uh, we, really, we really needed him to stay, stay up there for us. So we finished season seven and ten. Wow, we were like two and seven when we stopped. So we turned it around. Looks like our QB kind of is getting in his groove, which is excellent because this is what we need to go ahead and change it around, turn things around for this season. 
And so hopefully we can, you know, put the Falcons on the map again. You know what I'm saying? Put them back on the map. Click the wrong button. It wasn't on purpose. But we can go ahead and put the Falcons back on the map because he turns it around. You know, he turns this around. That would be excellent. Excellent. We can get Eckler to, you know, do well as well. We should be A-OK. -okay. Should be no issues there. So I'm super excited to see what's going to happen. Let's go ahead and try to sign some free agents. We have 81 freaking million in cap space, baby. This is a big... Hello, Moneymaker. We are going to go ahead. We're going to sign Jair Alexander. We're going to try to give him the big, fat deal that we can give him right now. And uh, we're going to have to up some money. I, uh, we're going to have to up the money. We're going to have to do it a lot. There we go. Boom. That should be a good enough deal to lure him here, hopefully. Put his number one. There we go. Boom. Okay, there we go. So Jair Alexander should be coming here. I'm not going to go Tyreek because Tyreek is a little bit of an age, so he probably will retire shortly. We can go Scary Terry, though, and I feel like Scary Terry would definitely benefit us in a big time way. We're going to try to hold him till he's 31. Scary Terry, big deal. What are we talking here, baby? Talk to me. We're number two, right behind the Patriots. I don't like that. I feel like we can kind of lure him in. So let's try to do that, man. Up something just a little bit. Still... Just a tad behind. 8.65. That should be it. Boom. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to kind of pass on some of these dudes. Let's see who else we have as an option here. Did not expect to have this much cash base. This would definitely help us out and put us in a very, very, very good situation right now. Um, did we go greedy? I think we had greedy Williams just for the fact that you know three corners are better than you know none so let's add let's add greedy williams you know what i'm saying we're gonna be greedy we're gonna try to take everything that we can <laughs> you see what i did there uh that was pretty bad anyways um <laughs> we're gonna try to take everything we can here add greedy to the roster we're number one on him this is good this is good yeah this looks really really, really good right now our squad is gonna be pretty nice Honestly, it's going to be pretty nice. I'm super excited for what we can do here. I feel like if we add Debo to the squad, that could change a lot of things, though, low-key. Is it? Do we add Debo and try to change, like, you know, just try to make some things happen? I don't know. So, see, we do have a thing where we don't have to give, like, a veteran a big contract at all. Um, so, I Fletcher Cox to the squad. Let's try that. Let's try, let's try a Fletcher Cox deal. Then that'll help us out in the long run. Should we give DJ Watt a deal? You know, I think so. Try to give JJ a deal. That's fine. I think he'll still come. I think he'll still show up. I'm going to try to make a push for Debo. It's going to be a small push. Not going to be a large push at all. But push is a push. If Debo decides that he wants to join the squad, actually, let's let's take away from you. Take away from JJ. Let's let's go Debo. Make a full sin on Debo. We beast Debo. Actually, probably a really really bad one. Yeah, that really is. Okay, let's up it just a little bit more. I think we're gonna have to up that signing bonus just a little bit, and then we'll put his salary to eight mil, and that's just cap it off right there bang there we go okay oh wow we offered a lot more than other teams not saying it doesn't deserve the money but i'm not saying that i should have, i feel like i don't think i should have to you know throw out more than other teams are throwing out you get what i'm saying so i want the edge but i don't want the edge that much boom there we go Okay, boom. All right. So there we go. We have made some big moves here. We still have a little bit of cat space left. Now, where did all this cat space come from? Not 100% sure. Hopefully, Maddie guys retired. If you did, W. If not, we kind of still suck. So, that's what it is. Um, let's see. Wow. So, only person who rejected the contract was Terry rejected? Are you serious? After all the bread we gave you? 
he rejected our contract. Wow. Wow, yo. Terry McLaurin turned us down. What the heck? Yo, he acted like I was not trying to give him a bag. What in the world, yo? I, I tried to give this man a bag and he rejected the contract. He literally turned us down. That's crazy. Now Debo Samuel, you know, the price gone up on him because the 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 biggest person that everybody wanted is gone. So sucks. Alright, so we went up number one on Debo. I mean it's freaking Tyreek, man. Forget it. Who cares? It's Tyreek freaking hell, baby. You cash out on Tyreek when you can cash out on Tyreek. We're cashing out on Tyreek if we can do it. Now. Actually, no, I'm not gonna burn that much on Tyreek. You might be like, you're cheating them on a steal. I am indeed. Yeah, I am. I very much am. I'm not going to give him too much money. Honestly, he is old. 29. Uh, so that definitely does affect some things that I'm, you know, that I'm looking to do if you're 29. I don't know if I really want to, you know, lay it all on the line, leave it all on the line for you. Debo Samuel rejected my contract offer. What in the world? I gave him the most money. Gave him the most money, he still rejects. All right, so now we ended up with Tyreek. Um, yeah, so we, now we have Tyreek. We have Calvin Ridley. And uh, that looks like that's going to be our wide receiving core uh, because the other two wide receivers we actually went for just did not want to come to us for some reason. And I, I don't think it's for some reason, you know, of course, we probably know what it is, but it is what it is. We're going to go ahead. We're going to send to the next season. This, the next season is probably going to be our last season. Hopefully, we can make some big impact or the Falcons are doomed. Let's go. Let's get into it. All right, boys, here we go. Starting the next season, man. We're going to try to see what we can go ahead and get going here. We are going to check out our lineup. We're going to see what's going on. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to have a pretty good season, though. Uh, it does look like Matt Ryan did retire, which is why we ended up getting all that cat space, which is pretty dope. Uh, we have Mr. Pitts, Ridley, Tyreek, of course. Eddie Ramirez, who's going to be running this show. Austin Eckler, of course, back there, who we hope is going to have a really good season for us. Uh, we ended up picking up Fletcher Cox. Looks like we have, I don't know who that dude is. We got somebody that was uh, auto-drafted. Uh, we do have some pretty good cornerbacks. AJ Terrell, Greedy Williams, Jair Alexander, and Antoine Winfield. I am going to go ahead. I'm going to try to make a big push for a nice, strong safety right now at this moment in time at the beginning of the season. Hopefully, that will help us put this squad together and we can make a push in the postseason, which we have not been able to do any other season. But, to you know, this season's the season. This season is the season. We go ahead and we make a push for that postseason. And uh, we're going to turn some things around here. So let's go ahead. Let's try to do it. I'm trying to think of a really, really good strong safety. I would trade for Jamal Adams, but I have a feeling Jamal is probably really, really old at this moment in time, so it just doesn't make sense. Tyran is up in age as well. This doesn't look like this is going to go too well for us. But I feel like if we make a good trade, it'll be decent enough to benefit us, hopefully. So let's see. Adrian Amos. I mean, there are some pretty good safeties out there so that's not too bad chauncey garden johnson wait jamal's only 27 chauncey garden johnson's 27 but he's an 87 but would jamal be the person that we need that i feel like can kind of push us over the edge might be a little biased but the answer is yes you always need jamal adams you know why you need jamal adams because it's blitz boy baby you always need blitz boy if you don't have blitz boy in your squad you suck simply put so we're adding blitz boy we're adding blitz boy to the squad we're adding blitz boy to the squad we need to add a little bit more firepower to this trade deal though so blitz boy hello how are you and there we go so a first round and the second round we can go ahead and we get jamal adams right there that is a big time that's a big time pickup boys that's a big time pickup i'm not gonna lie that's a big time pickup jamal adams i feel like would definitely make a big impact for the squad and if he doesn't you guys can roast me in the comment section simple put i think it's gonna happen anyway because i picked him up but it's blitz boy baby it's blitz boy but um <laughs> i feel like he's definitely gonna have a decent impact on this game or on on the team hopefully so I have to wait and see how things kind of play out for us. Uh, I do want to low-key add another receiver just in case something goes wrong. I'm not sure who I'm going to add, but I think we just want to kind of let things play out for right now um, and see how this defense kind of functions. Then we have two players with X-Factor on defense, which will benefit the defense a lot, and I feel like that will make it pretty good for us. Now, this week we're playing against the Saints. We have to worry about Kamara. Kamara's going to be a really, really good player. And, of course, we lose a really close one. We lose a really, 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 really close one right there. 
a uh, little too close for comfort I'm not gonna lie definitely didn't expect to lose that game but we lost it anyway and uh, it is what it is I'm gonna try to do one other thing to help us with this roster and that is I'm gonna try to make a trade for a lineman really quickly uh, to try to boost that O-line hopefully develop a run game that is very much necessary at this moment in time in this part of the season and you know in this part of the rebuild that we're kind of been stuck in uh, because we have not been able to really oh wow that's a big cap it can't handle that um, but we haven't been able to make something like that happen um, it's kind of something that we need right now so we're gonna try to see if we can get somebody decent without you know a massive cap hit but I feel like a massive cap hit is gonna happen regardless of what we do which kind of sucks Jordan Jackson your star okay okay we, we, we'll take we'll take somebody star we'll take somebody star that's not that's not a problem that's not a problem that's good that's actually pretty good we'll go third round pick shouldn't be shouldn't be too much value on them what oh they are already in negatives okay I'm saying I'm like that doesn't make sense now, but they were already in the negatives, which kind of sucks. Michael Wendu, third round pick. No, okay, all right. Second round pick, Michael Wendu. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lock him in. Sheesh. Okay, Michael Wendu's not happening. Okay, yep. We're just gonna keep moving then. Oh, this is the dude that we were trying to get the first time. That's the dude from the draft. Um, you think a second runner will go? I don't think a second runner will really go for him, but we'll see. And it happened. Okay. All right. Well, that was the dude from the draft. Um, so he was from the draft where we went ahead and drafted uh, Eddie Ramirez, which is actually pretty dope. Pretty big pickup right there, low key, because uh, he was a top five draft pick, I believe. So that's not saying that you know. It's not saying anything bad about him. That's actually saying something good about him. Uh, but the fact that he just was able to get given up or they gave him up for that little kind of scares me, kind of frightens me, shows me that there's just side that we don't know about that we really need to be cautious about. But I feel like adding him to the squad would definitely be the right move and that'll push us in the right direction. So I'm super excited about that. Um, did we cut Brian Poole? I don't think that's the answer. I don't think we cut Brian Poole. No, we're going to keep him. All right, let's go ahead and get into this next game against the Buccaneers. Can we pull out a W? Let's see what we can do. Eddie Ramirez, the game is on you. Show me something, man. Just show me something. If he can prove that he can win these games, we're straight. We lost. Shoot. We lost again. We lost. All right. So looks like we lost big time though. That wasn't like yeah. That's that wasn't a little loss. That was. That was a, yeah, you better be glad Brady's still playing loss. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a bad loss. I'm not going to lie. Our team right now is not looking too hot at all. Offensive pass, our offensive points per game is only 13 points. Passing us 200. Rushing us is only 68. Defensively, we're giving up crazy amount of points. This isn't looking too good. Um... We're, we're not in a good form. I'm just going to sim to the next week. Our team needs to figure this out. I'm not going to lie. This is this is when the team now. We win a game, finally. There we go. And it looks like the defense is kind of starting to get it together. Yeah, that's what I like to see. There we go. There we go. I feel like once the defense steps it up, the offense has no choice but to go dumb. You know what I'm saying? If the defense gets it together, the offense's only choice is we got to go dumb too because we want to win this game. I'm going to try to change some... Schemes. Um, I, I think I'm going to change a couple of schemes real quick. Try to see if that can help us match up a little bit better. Uh, so. Actually, I think that's what I need to click. Let's try this. Yeah. So, it looks like we're going to be in a brand new scheme. Um, Vertical zone run seems to be something that works pretty well. We're going to keep the skies 3-4 because that's 90% for everybody else. But we're going to switch the offensive scheme. Hopefully, that will allow the offense to have more firepower and to do a little bit better. 
We're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait and see what's gonna happen. I think this offense can definitely get more firepower. I think this offense can definitely be a lot better, more powerful. I think we're just seeing the 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 bare minimum from this offense. We lose that game right there, but that's after we go ahead and we switch the scheme. So the offense is gonna need time to adjust, but they don't have a lot of time because if we want to make the playoffs, we gotta start winning games now. The Panthers are on a roll. They are four and zero. Austin Eckler is back. He gets hurt so much. Really been a liability, but he's back in this game right now. We lose a close one. We are 1-4. We're at the bottom of the division. Not looking too hot at all. All right. <laughs> We're not looking too hot. Doesn't look like we have a chance to go ahead and, you know, go to the playoffs, which kind of sucks. Because um, that means that this rebuild will have been a failed rebuild after all. Even after all the new additions that we added to the squad. This team just simply can't seem to pull it together, which is kind of sad. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just sad. I feel like we put so much together for this team, and then they just can't pull it off. We have another injury here. What's going on? Austin Eckler is hurt again. He cannot stay healthy. What in the world? We play the Panthers once again. Mr. Eckler cannot stay healthy, which is going to hurt us a lot. We're going to send to the playoffs, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, boys. So we went ahead. We finished the season four and thirteen. <sighs> pretty poor. Pretty poor season. Um, pretty bad. Not too bad at all. Um, yeah, things just don't look good. This team is really in a in a tough spot, tough situation. Um, so yeah, not really sure what this means for the Falcons franchise in the future, but. It's going to be some rough years of rebuilding ahead. We added some crazy players to the squad, you know, this past season, and nothing helped. Like, we did even worse. I think this is, like, the worst we've did so far. And we added tons of brand new talent to the squad, which is crazy. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on the Donnie D1 channel, man. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think the Falcons will be able to rebuild successfully and become better? Or do you think it'll end up like this for the next few years and the Falcons will be, you know, just a pretty trash team like they are right now as they kind of fall off? Let me like, comment, and subscribe. I think that's your boy down to D1. We out of here.